I've, I've spoke about this before, he's pretty stiff in, in both ways, so he, um, he's, he's very similar um, on and off um, the field, obviously. He's um, very particular, even around the house when we were little, he used to make us do heaps of stuff, same as on the field. He's grown up a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, as a child, he was a great child as well, and as a rugby player, he's, he's always very talented at what he did, and, um, and has learnt, you know, he's, he's a great listener, a great learner, and, and nothing's changed with that, really. He's, he's ne never been a handful, to be honest. And, you know, I obviously being in Australia, didn't know too much about the history of it and what it means over here until, you know, the build-up of it last year, and uh, I was, I think it's even more special now having, you know, won it last year. It's an 80th Wembley final, a fact that is worth celebrating in its own right. But this feels extra special today, it really does. Walking out to that track and, and the crowd was amazing. It was a bit of a pinch yourself moment, you know, like it's, especially coming from Australia, you don't really yeah. know how big the moment is until, you know, you're actually walking out on there, so that was pretty cool. There's the owner, Derek, with his, um, with his suit on. Yeah. As loud as ever. But uh, just an amazing feeling walking out there with so many people uh, supporting both teams and just, just the atmosphere was unbelievable. Some key moments in the game, obviously. This, this being the first one. I think there was a lot of talk around John's actions a couple of weeks before at St Helens and, and no rule was implemented at that stage for that particular tackle. So probably, probably good for us that, that we got a penalty considering the circumstances and mm. get us on the board first, which is really important in a big game. And you with his mad fade. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important the first points in a game just to settle everyone down as well. And Ben had been quick, kicking really well all season. I, I know he missed the next one, I think, but just his, his, his percent rate would have been close up to 90% there. So, yeah. so it time. was important in this game that, that we kicked those goals. Obviously in a magical moment for him and the role that he played for us in 2023, and including the Challenge Cup final where he, where he played a, a big part. You know, the hard part about us now is we've got to travel up to, to Hull KR and have Ben potentially play against us and uh, he'll, he'll know everything about us, won't he? And, yeah. uh, but, but I'm sure that he'll not give away too many of our secrets. Yeah. Fingers crossed that he, he keeps quiet and we'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe he wasn't even listening the whole time, you never know. <laughs> Just sitting in the back of the room like monkey clapping in the, in the head, but he, um, he obviously did some you know, very special stuff for us. He's the way he kicked all throughout the year, kept us in. Mm -hmm. A lot of big games and won us games, and you know I think for him it was it was special because all that, I remember him talking about all he ever wanted to do was win a Challenge Cup. Yeah. And he was very emotional. He was he was game, very emotional he? after the game. Yeah. I think this is the second penalty that that we received. Uh, a late hit on Ben on a tackle six kick and from a fair distance out. So I think he just just goes wide. We don't kick the ball. Did I remember this moment actually because there's a few things on. They end up getting back to the 40 metre line here and put us under pressure for the next five or so minutes. This this come out of nothing, this try as well, like, it was all wrapped up by a few of us and just pulled out. Back to you, mate. Yeah, I think um, me and Kai obviously got a good combination there and he's he's flown through a couple of big holes for us in the, you know, throughout the season and it's good to know that, you know, when the big moments are there, you know, the stuff that you're working on during the year is, you know, comes out and shows itself in the, in the biggest moment areas. Yeah, it was a big play for us that to make sure we got back on um, in front there just before half time and uh, in, f in front of um, that big crowd as well just gave us a lot of confidence. There's some doubt over that try putting the ball down, they said. Yeah, it's clear as you can watch it a hundred times, it's a try. Let's watch it closely here. No doubt about it, but the no, ball gets no planted, right. isn't it? Smashed it down. Got it down? Yeah, easily. <laughs> some kid in the crowd asked me about it when we played him. <laughs> Later on in the year, he showed me the video and I didn't know what he was trying to show me. And he was saying, you dropped it, didn't you? <laughs> the hell? So in the, in the half time, in, in reasonably good shape in front. Uh, so it's where we wanted to be in the big game and, and give ourselves a chance to win the game in the back half end. So I think we're pretty much in control there. Uh, it was a good feeling between the group. The leaders stood up and, and heard their voice. So just to try to keep everyone calm at half time. The score's tied at that stage, I believe, so that puts us up by four. Um, big play for, for Lockie going to the other side of the field to create some space there and um, get Briscoe, uh, I think the highest try scorer in Challenge Cup history to, to score uh, that try and put us up by four. But then, you know, Ben's kick from the sideline was incredible too, and a, a massive play from Ben because it, it sort of gave us that six-point lead and, 
and in the end proved that, that luckily that he nailed yeah. it, that we needed it, and then he nailed that going in extra time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Records in the corner. Pretty excited coaching box fun. there as well. This was a difficult moment. So There's was, was probably, you know, for three minutes leading to the final, Huda, they just had all the ball hull and we just needed to hang on really. Um, but that was probably a negative mentality and, and we couldn't get out of our half. And we talked about it may be coming down to these kicks for everyone to keep moving, but a few stopped there and, you know, I, I tried to, to, to hold KR in and the, and the dying moments of the game was sort of heartbreaking, really. Went up to the video referee and it, it's, it looked like forever it took to, to, to come to that decision. Yeah, I know, I know I talked about it after in the media, but, you know, you've lost one or two coaching like that and playing yeah, yeah. like that and mm. in the juniors, we <laughs> lost like that, just... It was, a, it was a weird feeling, it was like, the blessing was that they couldn't win. Yeah. Like it wasn't a guaranteed win, it was... We still had a chance. We still had a chance, yeah, but we'd, we'd lost a few times like that in the past. And, yeah. you know, after the way we played and, you know, the season we were having at the time, it would have been a very, very sad way to lose that game. Like, Absolutely. just like that. It was a weird one, that kick out, you're like, please miss it, but yeah. there's just no chance you can really miss it. I remember this moment here, uh, because the boys were just rattled and just just flat from, from what had just happened. And I remember talking to everyone, just saying, look, this is what the mateship will come down to. And, you know, we worked really hard as a group to, 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 to be in this situation that if we're going to go down, we're going to go down together. And, and I remember um, looking at the group and pull, pulling everyone in and everyone put their hands in and just said, let's, let's give this a good crack. Yeah, I think, I think it's important because moments like that, you get, it feels like a punch in the face or, yeah. or a kick in the stomach, you know, it's, it's important to find a way to throw it in the bin, you know, what's happened and, um, you know, try and come up with something and, you know, stick to what you practiced all week and what was working for us. But it just feels like it should yeah. have been over and, you know, yeah. we should be already celebrating and lifting the trophy. But Totally agree. I was just looking around thinking who's going to lead us in this. And there was some couple of big moments in this in this extra time, really, even from the kickoff. Yeah, I know. There was an error from Hull KR that... Should the, have been uh, that, that the referee ah, should have been error, yeah. overruled and said it wasn't an error. It was a it was a penalty which which gave them the ball on the very first tackle of of, mm. of extra time. And yeah. um, I, I think these moments like now are when you rely on what you've done in mm. your preparation and have so. trust in the group and have faith that if we stick to the process that we'll we'll get the rewards that we deserve. You know. Yeah. And so I then think, um, each night and misses the kick for touch, doesn't he? Which, yeah. which then, it's an incredible play, really. Um, but it was like a bit of faith. Yeah, I agree. I think it was one of them ones where you're like, oh, I can't believe that's just happened. Thank God. And Gaz, you know, that's been our go-to shape all year. You yeah. know, hit him on the option one there, and he's been a sharpshooter at training, and he nailed one against Leeds. It was the a week, week before, before yeah. yeah. And he, you know, just comes up a bit. He blocks it out a little bit to the right there. And Zach Hardy Aker does four tackles in a row there where he minimises their metres so it doesn't give Schneider in a, in a better position to, to take the field goal. So it was a massive what, play. what was Zach huge. did on that was a massive moment. So by him kicking the ball dead, puts us back up the field with the seven tackles set and we go to our second option here and, and then it's over to you. I, I will always talk about this moment. It's like from the moment it hit my boot to the moment it went through, it was like... Ugly. like it, it, ugly but it felt like it didn't happen like it was very happened very quickly and you know from as the pass was coming to me I was on the ground and the boys were on top and it's hard to remember kind of anything in between that but yeah um, magical moment for the town yeah everyone crying and happy and celebrating like yeah I, I think, think we, we deserve this I think like yeah, we, we worked really hard. now thinking about 50 years since this had been at the club at, at Lee and I think all the fans throughout not only at the ground but throughout all the town were so excited and so happy and so proud it was just a magical moment for everybody you know if you if you had told us before the game that this is the way you were going to win you know you wouldn't have yeah. wouldn't have complained at all would you i remember as coach when, when it went to gaz he was going to take the second one and uh when he threw it back to you i thought oh my goodness he's gonna he's gonna win us the game and when it went over it was like i just couldn't believe it like, yeah. uh, just for everyone happy moments yeah it is it was Special, like I hadn't had that much practice at it, but we'd practiced the shape sort of thing. And, yeah. um, you know, Gaz probably had a bit more time than he did on the first one to kick that. So I was half not expecting it. You can mm. see, like, when he throws it, I sort of jolt. Yeah, like, oh, shit. He on just, the second one. Yeah, like, I, he, <laughs> I, I didn't really believe that he was trying to throw it to me, but it was, um, you know, Edwin throws in this top spin and pass that goes behind him. And mm. it's just weird how it all works out like that. You know, if he gets a clean pass, maybe Gaz kicks it. And, 
Yeah. You know, we, we might win there, but Mully's carried before it runs. Yeah, that was a key, wasn't it? Runs 20 metres. I think they probably think I'm taking a shot there and they run past him a little bit at marker and he runs mm. in behind and plays it quickly and get no pressure whatsoever on the kick. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's in history now. It's just a moment that... Unbelievable times. The town has forever, yeah. I went up for the award before it and um, I was kind of just floating around. I didn't really know where, where I was going or what was happening. And um, I was just walking through the crowd, kind of not... Um, not sure where I was and you know all of a sudden I looked up and I was walking past the families which was um, you know, pretty emotional and mm. um, yeah I got to go up there first and, and you know see my partner and then obviously team followed closely and then there's, there's moments you know in life that you look back on and you don't really get them yeah. very often and people don't really get them ever so I think you know lifting the, the trophy with you and, and the boys and mm. walking past the families like going through it's just it's such a special way to win, Absolutely. you know, a big moment like that. So I remember also walking up to, to lift the trophy up, going up first and just thinking it's really happening that we're walking up the steps of, of Wembley and uh, looked back behind, everyone just had the biggest smile on their face and we got up there and, and lifted that trophy. What, what an incredible moment for our fans. Crazy, crazy dreams come true. We finally got back down to the dressing room and yeah. uh, that was a, a magical moment. There's a couple of really good photos there that we've got up on our wall already of, of, the, of the champagne cork being popped and champagnes everywhere. You can see the, the cork in the middle of the photo, which is, which is really it's special. And, uh, you, were, you were the ski mask on now that yeah. well, you were with the boys. Yeah, because I got in there a bit later. I didn't have time to like, tighten the, the mask, so when all the <laughs> champagne was running down my eyes, the glass was just sitting there, but it was all coming down in my eyes. I couldn't even see. Like, it was, it was it was a pretty cool moment that, you know, like it was relief and joy and there was just a lot of emotions in, you know, that one. Yeah, we, we got one little time there. We got Frank here, our kit guy, man, kit man to, to, to bang the drum and I was emotional for everyone because he's, he's been here for a hundred years and um, he was here the last time we won it. So it, to leave that for him and then everyone just to be emotionally connected to that and the champagne going everywhere was a moment that we will forever remember. Just coming back the next day on the open top bus through all the, the Lee area, I think there was something like 30,000 people spilled across all the streets leading in, into, into Lee town. And when we got there, just the, just the way that the people were dressed and flares everywhere. And it was, it was incredible scenes and, and just a really special moment for the town, wasn't it? And um, for us to go on that open top bus, it's a, it's a moment that I'll never forget because it was yeah. just magical. It was incredible and, and I, you know, I hope one day we get to experience that again. And, um, a, a massive thank you to all the fans that yeah. turned up for that. I don't know if we'll ever understand to the extent that they, how they felt, you know, I think obviously as time's gone on you, you, you understand how big it was for the town but I still don't think that um, my head's quite wrapped around what it means to some people, you know, we, mm. the boys still get talked to by fans on the, on the street saying thanks for winning the, yeah. the Challenge Cup and it's been almost 12 months since it happened and, you know, they're still thanking you for things like that and, um, yeah, we're, we're very grateful, you know, footy, footy's a crazy thing and, you know, you you get paid to do it and you, you love doing it, but you also, you know, sometimes you can quickly look over um, the fans and what, what they take out of it as well and, you know, it's just as important for them as it is for anyone else. And Great reward for them. Yeah, we have we have a big, you know, support base from them and they, they make the LSV bounce every week and I think it was, you know, only right for us to do that for them, I think.